I don't understand the connection between opinions that people disagree with and the legitimacy of the court. Don't understand the connection. The Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court, John Roberts, said that on Friday at a time when the country is watching a Trump-appointed judge at the lowest level of the federal court system trying to give Donald Trump everything he wants by interfering with a federal criminal investigation of Donald Trump. And John Roberts said that at a time when 10-year-old girls in America who are rape victims are being ordered by the laws of their states to give birth because they were raped and those laws were authorized by the United States Supreme Court. John Roberts did that himself. John Roberts himself joined the Supreme Court opinion that was the first in history to take rights away from women and girls and insist that suddenly 10-year-old girls in this country, by law, must give birth after being raped. And John Roberts wonders why people don't simply stop at politely disagreeing with that opinion and take that next step to question the very legitimacy of the court. The court quoted the 400-year-old opinions of British judges who believed in putting witches to death and did indeed themselves sentence witches to death. They quoted those British judges in opposition to abortion to justify their own decision in 2022 to force 10-year-old girls in this country to give birth after being raped. The court's legitimacy is being questioned by members of the Supreme Court itself. Justice, Justices Stephen Breyer, Elena Kagan, and Sonia Sotomayor wrote in their dissent that John Roberts' Supreme Court majority overturning Roe versus Wade, quote, undermines the court's legitimacy. Joining us now are Dahlia Lithwick, senior editor and legal correspondent for Slate and host of the podcast Amicus. She is the author of the upcoming book, Lady Justice, Women, the Law, and the Battle to Save America. Also with us, Claire McCaskill, former Democratic senator of Missouri. They are both MSNBC analysts. Uh, and Senator McCaskill, uh, John Roberts just doesn't get it. He just doesn't get the connection uh, between disagreeing with appointments, opinions of the court, and then questioning the legitimacy. Now, this is a guy who's really out of touch. I mean, let me count the ways the legitimacy can be questioned. First, people were put on the court with a political two-by-four wielded by Mitch McConnell. First, by denying a sitting president an opportunity to name a Supreme Court justice, first time in history. Second, by installing a, a judge moments before a presidential election, never before in history. Third, he's got a guy sitting on the Supreme Court whose wife is helping plot the overthrow of the government. And then they overturn a right that women had in this country for 50 years. It is unbelievable how bad it is. And Dahlia Luthwick, uh, one of your solutions that you propose in your brilliant new piece in Slate is expand the courts, uh, not just the Supreme Court, which is legislatively possible but difficult, but the lower courts, including the district courts, like, for example, the district courts in Florida, where Donald Trump right now has one of his very own judges doing everything she possibly can for him. Uh, one of the ironies of the special prosecutor uh, choice, a special master choice in this case, Raymond Deary, is that in 1986, Ronald Reagan was able to appoint him to a federal judgeship that did not exist the year before, because it was created in an expansion, exactly the kind of expansion you're talking about uh, in the district courts. That's exactly right, Lawrence. And, and the courts have been expanded historically over time, not just the district courts, by the way, and the circuit courts, but the Supreme Court. The number there has not been static either. And in fact, you know, the Judicial Conference, which is the nonpartisan body that develops uh, policy for the courts, is begging for expansion of the lower federal courts because of the backlog. Because unless you're Donald Trump, you can wait for years uh, to be heard in court. And so there are a whole bunch of measures, whether it's jurisdiction stripping, whether it is adding seats to the bench, whether it is protecting voting rights from judicial intervention. There's a lot of things that can be done. And I think that the days of wringing our hands and saying we have to live under the thumb of Trump judges for all eternity, because nothing can be done, those days have to kind of end now, 
Now there's a whole bunch of things that can be done, and we have to stop talking about them as abstractions. Uh, Claire McCaskill, if the Democrats add two senators uh, to their count, get up to 52 senators in the Senate, will they be able to expand the courts? I don't think so. I, I do not believe that there will be enough votes to do that. But I do think there's an opportunity to talk about a lot of ethics reform, term limits, and maybe age limits, since uh, the idea of a lifelong appointment, I think, has uh, really gone out of fashion, especially uh, for this Supreme Court. 